This is the major fissure at the, at the top. There's still some more smaller fissures up above. Wow. But this has all happened since the beginning of the year. All of this was level. It was all flat. It was all flat. And there was a, a huge you know, play area with slides and swings and, and that. And that's all been, been taken out. This has gone down 50 feet or more. That wall used to be above, see where the, the retaining wall is there? Yeah. It used to be about two feet above the road here, slipped down. I felt this about two Above feet the feet. road, it was here. Right, well. so that grass there was attached to this grass here. The water pipes down here used to be below the ground, probably four to six feet below the ground. And section by section now, Cal Water is bringing the pipes above ground so that the landslide so doesn't, doesn't affect them and also so that they're inspectable. But since they've put this water pipe in, we've gone from having a break every couple days of the water pipes to Even the- underground or underground? Underground. Yeah. To above ground, zero. So the water here comes from the top of the hill. The residents still have water. I've got a bulldozer that is actually leveling out my uh, driveway. And so you can see all the cut that we've done there is fill so that we can actually get down the driveway. This is our house. Oh. Our house, as you can see it, yeah. through there. And because you can just barely see the house, that's why we like to live here. My house is lucky enough that um, it's just starting to move. When we talk about stability in Portuguese Bend, we talk about the blocks of land that are moving. And if you're in a block of land and your house is in the middle, it's hard to know that you're moving. Your house is doing just fine. But if your house happens to be in, in between blocks, the land will just rip it apart. So it's a little bit like being on an iceberg. You know, if you're on an iceberg that's moving, everything's fine. You could be floating in the middle of the ocean and life is grand. You see no right. major impact. So you don't have to be rich to live here. It's not cheap, but this whole hill was basically formed by people that were engineers working for, well, they didn't even call it aerospace. It was the aircraft industry. Back in, when my father came out here in 64 to work for Douglas Aircraft, we've actually lived in, in the neighborhood here since 1999. And so we're not quite newcomers, but we're not old timers yet either.